If you ever get this issue where Ableton uh, is automatically deactivating your automations and you're always having to re-click this re-enable automation button up here, I've finally figured out um, how to fix that, stop it from doing that. Um, something that's been frustrating me for a while and I finally decided to figure it out. So hopefully this will help you to sort out your automation ghost issues, that's what I call it. So I'll show you what's been happening. Just so you know, this is exactly what's been going on and what I'm going to show you how to, how to fix. So the automation just automatically deactivates like that. You can see I'm not touching anything, it's deactivated again. Re-enable. And yeah, just keeps doing that randomly. I haven't touched anything so the problem with this is I've got a MIDI controller connected um, and the issue with that is that it's uh, sending MIDI to the output as well as the input which is not what we want so if you go to your preferences uh, link MIDI tab this one here you'll see I'm using the MPK Mini. Um, now, all I really need this to do is to input MIDI from the keyboard to the computer. I don't need the computer to send MIDI from the computer to the keyboard. Um, and that's what's been happening. So having these output ones enabled is actually making it do that. So if I turn those off, particularly the remote one I think is the, the main issue uh, because what it's trying to do is send uh, MIDI information from the computer to the keyboard and it's trying to match the encoders to the position and because these are not endless encoders, they're you know, minimum maximum encoders, um, they're not going to sync up to the actual position of the automation in Ableton. Um, so that's, that's the reason why you need to turn those off. Um, so that it's not going to try to sync with it because this controller isn't designed for that. Um, and pretty much most MIDI controllers, you'll really only need to use them as an input, not an output, unless you've got uh, syncing like arpeggiators and things like that to your MIDI controller, or if you've got uh, an inbuilt sound generator like if the synthesizer. Otherwise, if you're just doing standard MIDI control, turn the outputs off. Now we'll test that out and we'll see if it works. So re-enabled. Now hopefully I won't have to click that again. Let's have a look. There we go. Brilliant. Look at that. Well, I hope that's solved one of your Ableton issues. That's been an issue that I've been dealing with for a while and it's been super frustrating and I hope that this helps. Thank you.